Well, China sent out a loud and clear message to the U.S. Navy when the People's Liberation Army Navy conducted several tests of its new aircraft carrier missiles, it's received a similar message from Taiwan. The Tao Cheng class corvette, which is a Taiwanese designed class of fast and stealthy multi mission corvettes, is being introduced by the island nation. The vessels of this class are touted as carrier killer and are a crucial component of Taiwan's defense efforts against China. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Taiwan's Taocheng class guided missile corvettes could be a real challenge for China. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. Currently, two ships are in active service, Tao Chang PGG-618 and Ta Chang PGG-619. Both of these domestically produced vessels and built by the Kaohsiung-based Zhongxin Shipbuilding Group feature a modern catamaran design. Ta Chang PGG-619, the first series-produced vessel of the improved variant, entered service with the Taiwanese Navy a ceremony held on the 9th of September at the Sao Naval Base that was also attended by Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen. The vessel has several enhancements over first of class Tao Chang PGG-618, which was commissioned in late 2014. The Tao Chang class corvettes have a length of 60.4 meters, displacement of 685 tons, a maximum operational range of 2,895 kilometers or 1,800 miles and a top speed of 80 kilometers per hour or 50 miles per hour according to Lungte Shipbuilding. Taiwan is expected to receive a total of 11 of these vessels over the next five years with plans for the Taiwanese Navy to receive six by 2023 and five more by 2025. Taiwan Security Analysis Center TISAC, stated that the ship features stealth technologies to minimize radar detection, a combat system that includes a distributed architecture combat direction system known as Taiwan Aegis, developed by the National Chungshan Institute of Science and Technology, and an indigenous search and track and fire control radar and electro-optical director. It's designed to counter the numerous and increasingly sophisticated People's Liberation Army Navy ships by utilizing hit-and-run tactics. It features a clean upper structure design with very few extrusions to reduce radar signature, pre-cooled engine exhaust to reduce infrared signature, and a reduced visual signature to reduce the chance of detection. The idea is to make the vessel less detectable by radar and allow it to be obscured by background radar noise when operating closer to the coastline. The Tao Chang class is equipped with an OTO Malara 76mm naval gun on its forward deck and is armed with Sea Sword 2 anti-aircraft missiles. One Phalanx Close-In Weapon System CIWS, two 12.7 mm Browning M2HB machine guns, and two Mark 32 surface vessel torpedo tubes. The key weapons are the anti-ship missiles, eight subsonic Swing Feng 2 HF2 anti-ship missiles, eight supersonic 
Swing Bang 3, HF3, medium range missiles. The Swing Fang 2 has a length of 4.9 meters, a body diameter of 0.4 meters, it carries a 225 kilogram or 495 pounds high explosive, fragmentation, semi armor piercing warhead, and includes an all weather, dual seeker, and electronic countermeasures. The Swing Fang 2 has a reported range of up to 120 kilometers or 75 miles. Although reports in 2017 claim that Taiwan successfully produced an extended range version with a range of up to 250 kilometers or 155 miles. The missile is propelled by a solid fueled booster and liquid fueled turbojet engine. It uses an inertial navigation system based guidance system. The standard variant Swing Fang 3 measures 5.1 meters in length. 0.38 meters in diameter. The missile carries a single 120 kilogram or 265 pounds high explosive semi armor piercing warhead. The Swing Fang 3 has a range of 150 kilometers or around 95 miles. The missile is propelled by a solid fueled booster and liquid fueled ramjet engine and is guided by INS with terminal active radar homing. It's reportedly equipped with a smart fuse designed to direct most of the explosive energy downward once it's detected that the missile is inside the target ship's hull, maximizing damage. The strike envelope of the extended range variant has been kept a secret. China is separated from Taiwan through the Taiwan Strait, and China will have to move its forces across the strait in case it decides to invade. Such an amphibious operation is one of the most complicated ones, and asymmetric warfare could make life really difficult for the Chinese military. This is where the new warships can be very handy. The new ships are intended to be deployed on the low-intensity maritime security missions that are currently undertaken by Taiwan's larger and more costly destroyers and frigates but will also be able to wage an asymmetrical war in case of a conflict. China is not very experienced when it comes to operating aircraft carriers, and neither are its carriers as capable as the American ones. In this situation, the Taocheng class could be a deadly adversary. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.